in a Galilean transformation, t prime would just be equal to t, right? Yeah. Um, and you can justify it this way. So in, so in Galilean transformation, this is, is pretty, this is still pretty significant, right? Beta times c is still a fairly large number. So, and, but here, you have beta times x. In, in low speed limit, where beta is, you know, if you're dealing 30 meters per second, that's uh, beta is 10 to the minus 7. So 10 to the minus 7 times uh, a meter becomes insignificant compared to speed of light times any amount of seconds. So, um, so in Galilean, trans the low, in the low speed limit, in this term, you lose the gamma factor. It's more or less 1. In this term, not only you lose the gamma factor, but you also lose this term. That's why t prime is equal to t in Galilean limit. Uh, it, so it would be, if you are looking at uh, like a distance of light years, sure, I guess. But um, yeah, but that's not your everyday experience. Your everyday experience with the things that are at most of kilometers or thousands of kilometers long, right? <laughs> so yeah, once you start getting astronomical, then sure. 